from your perspective, um, when you watch the guys on the court, how, how do you feel like they're handling this current uh, losing streak and, and uh, trying to get back to where you guys were playing? Um, I feel like they're handling it well. That's the thing that's like, you watch all our games, it's not a lack of effort. Like, everyone's giving their all. It's just we've got to figure out how to put our pieces together. So that's kind of our main concern this week is we're going to play as a team. So. Yeah. So that's been that's what's been so eye opening about college basketball is like you have all these crazy stats. Like he put a bunch of stats up on the other day that was like points per possession and the jump shot, three point layup for each player. And it was just so eye opening to see the game that way where it's like let's say someone drives and has an open layup and let's say they struggle finishing around the rim and they're like a point six points per possession, rather than someone who's wide open in the corner who's a one point three, then it's just kind of like you gotta trade off and play the game that way. So I get the analytical side of things, and it's awesome to see the game like that. But you definitely have to just go out there and play to some extent where analytics doesn't – like it does show a lot of numbers, shows a lot of good information, but at the end of the day, you just got to win. So, Your dad's a coach. Has he offered you any uh, insight into this kind of situation? A um, little bit. We like to kind of we, – we always say like we like to keep our kingdom separate. So it's kind of funny. Like I see him, and like we holler at each other. He texts me after the game, checks up on me. Um, as of right now, he's just saying one time, like I can't remember, a few years ago, one of his teams went through a tough losing streak and they bounced back. So he's like, he'll be fine. So it's just words of like comfort mostly. It's not really, he's very positive and optimistic about it, but likes to keep like giving me my space, which I respect. How have the players kind of like, how, how much personal responsibility have you seen the players kind of take in, in what's been going on the past couple of weeks? Big time. Everyone's feeling it because no one, that's the thing is like, our whole team, I, like, I'm sure you've heard us talk about all preseason, talking about it, putting our own agendas aside. Like, everyone's willing to sacrifice. Like, we have the desire, we have the commitment as a team. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to, I don't know, I guess it comes down to us right now figuring out what the problem is and how we can come back and win some games. And I've definitely seen AB take a huge role recently. Um, he's a great leader, but he's definitely stepped it up, and everyone's just kind of stepping up a level. So it's, it's going to be big. Oh, it's been good. My main thing is I just lack the experience. Like, I go in the game, and it's like I haven't played a game since before my mission. So that's definitely been a huge, like, I don't feel quite comfortable yet. So luckily, I just got to get reps in practice and just keep doing what I'm doing, and I know that eventually all that work will pay off. What were some of your uh, thoughts on, on getting, some, getting some run against the number one team in the country in, in Gonzaga? What, what, how valuable was that experience? It was cool. <laughs> I got blocked. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's a different game. It's a lot faster. So I definitely learned a lot of lessons that game, and it was cool to go in there. But obviously, I want to go in there and perform a lot better than I did. So just got to get better and learn from it. Do you feel like it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a, a sample of what you're going to be facing? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know you're focused on the here and now, but down the road when you're in the Big 12 and mm -hmm. part of the program. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely like any – like. Coaches always say, like, the most valuable thing is game time experience. Like, practice is valuable, and so are, like, all the trainings you do. But at the end of the day, nothing can repu replicate a game as much as actually getting to the game replicates it. So just trying to get as much in as I can. You mentioned analytics being, like, an eye-opening experience for you with college basketball. Mm -hmm. How much have you learned just kind of like about the human nature side of, like, athletics and, like, how difficult it is to, like, win games when you have all these other things going on, school, anxiety, yeah. and losing streak. Uh -huh. expectations for your coach, yourself, that kind of stuff. Yeah, there definitely is a lot of pressure, and it's funny because, uh, like, we have all these older dudes criticizing us, and you have all these dads that, like, will stop you while you're walking the store and say some, like, smart comment. And it's like I get it. Like, I love that they care, and I love that they want us to win. Um, but I don't know. It's just funny. you got to look at the end of the day. Like, we're just a bunch of kids just trying to pass college, trying to do a lot of other things. Um, but I feel like our team, like we talked about, like that sacrifice and commitment everyone has, Everyone's willing to handle their own business and not let it affect their sport. And right now, everyone's all in. So there's a huge focus on our team. Tell us about a crazy stretch or you did. <laughs> yeah. So I had one of my uh, – his name's Austin. He works with Tyson. I had him Photoshop a tiki and his favorite rapper in a picture. And then I put it on a hoodie and surprised him with it and said, like, the king's on it and his favorite rap lyric on it. 
So it was pretty funny. It was a good picture. Who was the rapper? Uh, Pop Smoke. Tiki loves Pop Smoke. What's the lyric? Um, it just says AP, spicy, and he always says that. Like, he's rolling out in practice, and he always says it. Are we going to see a TikTok with uh, T- AAA and you? Uh, <laughs> see, I'm not on TikTok, and I'm not a big TikTok person, but Tiki and Foos, they, they've been killing it on TikTok, so I'm hoping they can make an appearance with that hoodie on there. Those dudes got personality. <laughs> Love them.